time for a brief update on the Manchego cheese. Uh, as you can see, it is growing mold nicely, and I see at least two different kinds. The one on this side is gray and in patches, sort of, and some of that I've managed to spread around on the sides of it as well. And the one on this side is a darker color, or darker, uh, well, some gray and, and some black in there, but it's not forming these kind of patches. At any rate, I'm pleased that it is developing some... Uh, some mold at last, which is what it's supposed to do, and it's supposed to make a rind that is uh, edible. The mold isn't any danger to eat it or anything. I put a little olive oil on it once, I'm going to add a little bit more today. The cheese was started, or finished rather, started its aging, the 18th of July, uh, and I'm planning to let it go until at least the 18th of September. I'd like to get a good uh, covering of mold by then. But I've been doing this on a daily basis, rubbing it. And some of the photographs that I've looked at online uh, are looking just like this after the two month stage. You can see the sort of darker areas in, these, uh, in the pattern there. That supposedly is a good development. And the only thing I can say about the aroma is it is a wonderful cheese smell. I can hardly wait to, to try this. Every time I open it, I'm tempted to, to cut into it. It has a lovely cheese fragrance to it. And I do this on a daily basis and flip it over, and it goes back in the cheese fridge. But that is the update as of today, which is the 27th or 28th, I'm not sure, of August. So we're going to let it go until at least the 18th of, of September, and I'll see at that time if I think I'm ready to cut it or if I want to age it a little further. Thank you for watching.